Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is your channel where you can learn how to use Fusion 360 to program your whole Mac and Wiki CNC machine. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so um, I have a sketch here from my coworker. He wants me to uh, to make this uh, uh, cap uh, out of uh, oak. Uh, it's 15 16 thick. So I have the sketch here. All right, so you see it's three and a half inches. Uh, top face, um, this bottom part right here is two and 13 sixteenths. Uh, depth is a quarter of an inch. And you see the thickness of the material, it's 15 sixteenths. All right, so um, let's model this in Fusion 360. Uh, and then we're gonna apply toolpath to machine this on the, on the wiki uh, machine, all right? All right, so um, I'm gonna create a sketch. Okay, select the bottom plane. And I'm gonna uh, create a circle, all right? Just select it right here, or you can just hit C on your keyboard for circle. Okay, I'm gonna snap it right here. Okay, and this three and a half, 3.5. Okay, and then the, all the circles gonna be uh, Two and thirteen sixteens, right? So uh, just hit C on the keyboard, create all the circle, select that center point, I'm gonna type two point eight one two five, enter. All right, so um, and I have the sketch here, so I'm gonna extrude this. Okay, so I'm gonna hit E on my keyboard for extrude. Select this sketch and this, and I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down uh, 11 sixteenths because um, that's the difference. If you subtract a quarter of an inch from 15 sixteenths, it's gonna be 11 11 sixteenths. All right. You can just do it here in the calculator. So I'm gonna type um, 0.9375 minus 0.25. That's points. That's zero point six eight seven five. That's eleven sixteens, all right. So it's going down uh, to be minus eleven sixteens. Point six eight seven five. I'll create a new component. Click OK, and then I'm gonna. Where it says sketches, I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna turn this on. So you can see the the sketch. So I'm gonna extrude this top face here. This the smallest circle. So when I hit E for extrude, select this. And I'm gonna go up a uh, quarter of an inch, right? All right, so I'm, it's gonna be uh, 0.25. Okay, and, uh, and that pressure is gonna be joined, all right? Okay, and just my part. So I'm gonna turn off the sketch. You can name sketches here if you want. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, you can name the components. Could be cap. Okay. Okay. There's a 3D model. So let's apply some appearances. So uh, I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard. Okay. I'm gonna select the uh, oak 3D oak. I'm finished. Select and drag it, drop it onto the 3D model. Okay. All right, there it is. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to go to manufacturer to apply toolpath. All right, so I'm going to create a new setup. Okay. Um, I got to I gotta get some material because uh, this part is so small, it's not, it's not going to be, um, um, it's not going to get sucked down really good on, uh, on the vacuum pass CNC machine. This thing is gonna fly off the machine, right? Um, so I'm gotta add some material so I can use at least um, two vacuum pods, and so I can hold this down. So, um, so I'm gonna go towards the stock. Which says stock offset mode. I'll drop it down. I'll select S stock to all size. All right. So um, 
Uh, I'm going I'm to add the material going to the left, so it's going to be a plus X offset. All right, it's a positive going this direction. All right, so I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna get a um, uh, material is gonna uh, it's gonna be twenty inches in width and it's gonna be four inches in uh, in depth. So um, so I'm gonna type here twenty in. All right. Okay, and the offset is going to be, uh, so this is, this has to be uh, four inches, right? Right now it's three and a half. So, uh, so I'm going to add uh, a quarter inch this way and a quarter inch this way. All right. So we says stock minus off Y offset. It's going to be 0.25 IN. Okay. And the next one the 0.25 in okay and now this is four inches in depth the, the stock material okay see here the dimensions here use a calculator and you know you'll you you if you you you'll know this is this is 20 inches 20 inches in the x four inches in in the y and 15 16 in the z all right uh, post process is going to be cap. Uh, common. Uh, I'm, right here, I'm going to use a 3 8 compression bit from uh, ounce root. So let's type 3 8 ounce root compression tool. All right. I'm going to hit OK. It's my setup, all right. So uh, he only wants one cap, but just in case he wants more, so I can just you know um, I can just offset um, in Woodwalk I offset the program going this way, so I can so I can put one here, you know, another one there. For now, he only wants uh, one cap. All right. So next, I'm gonna use a uh, I'm gonna use a 2D contour. Okay. I'm gonna select the tool. Select uh, the nine millimeter uh, ML. I think this one right here. The yeah, the on root. I'm gonna use this one right here. Okay. Select that. And spindle speed is gonna be a eighteen thousand RPM. And cutting fury, uh, a little slower than that. It's gonna be six meters per minute. And the leading uh, and the lead out. Drop it down to uh, three meters per minute. Okay, uh, next is gonna be geometry. I'm gonna select this here. Okay. All right. Um, okay, the arrow's pointing the wrong, uh, of the right direction. All right. Uh, next is the high tab. Okay. All right, so. Uh, Everything looks good here. Passes. Stack to leave. I'm going to uncheck that. Multiple devs. Uncheck. Uh, the linking. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to have a lead in and lead out. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm going to have a ramp. Um, I want to make this 15 degrees. Okay. And let's click OK. All right. There's my, there's, that's the first. Uh, Pass here, all right. Uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna add another uh, tool path. Uh, I'm gonna just cut more material all the way around here. So I'm gonna select. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate this um, this 2D contour. So I'm gonna right click, go down where it says duplicate. You can hit Control and D on your keyboard. It's a shortcut. So I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna select them, right click, edit. And where it says some passes, where it says stack to leave, uh, the axial is, gonna be, axial is gonna be zero. The radius is gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna offset this uh, eight millimeters. Okay. 
and let's click OK. All right, so see, it's removing more material here. All right, so uh, next I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the shape out. I'm not gonna cut all the way through. I'm gonna have a vacuum pot here, so I'm 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 gonna have to leave uh, some material. So I'm I'm gonna leave like um, two millimeters of material. All right, so um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna duplicate this uh, 2D contour. Right click, duplicate, select that. Right click, edit, and on the geometry, I'm gonna select the uh, the bottom edge here, and and under passes, um, actually on, under heights tab, where it says bottom height. I'm gonna type two millimeters because that's the material I'm leaving here, All right? Uh, passes. I'm gonna put a step, uh, step over. So I'm gonna uncheck stock to leave. All right. So it says multiple depths. I'm gonna check that. And okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down. Uh, it's gonna be nine millimeters. Okay. And linking tab. Um, Gonna be the same. The ramp is gonna, it's gonna be the same as the other ones. So I'm gonna click OK. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, select the setup. Right click, simulate. Start simulation. See how it was cutting here to the, the last pass? Um, it, was, it was starting from here, from all the way up here. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this. Uh, so I'm, um, I'm, I'm gonna edit that last um, tool path. So I'm gonna right click, edit. I'm gonna go where's under um, height tab. Uh, see what says top height it says stock, uh, stock top. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna go to where it says uh, selection. I'll select this face here. All right, and I'm gonna click OK. Okay, now let's simulate this one more time. Oh. There's there's a tool collision here. All right, so um, let's fix that. Uh, so I gotta go a little higher on the on the retract um, under um, heights tab. So let's edit that. Right click, edit. Okay, go to the heights tab. Okay, uh, retract high. Let's increase this. Make this ten millimeters. And the feet height 10 millimeters as well. All right, um, let's click OK. Simulate this one more time. Right click, simulate. Okay, all right, that looks good. See that last um, 2D, the last um, operation here. Before, before that, before I changed the, before I increased the the, the height, um, right? Um, under height tab. Um, if, um, before that, uh, it was uh, it had three passes. Now it only had two. All right. Uh, two passes. All right. Um, let's, cl um, let's close this. Okay. All right. Next, I'm gonna post this job. Uh, just set up one. I'll type cap. Hit enter. So uh, while that's selected, I'm gonna right click post process. Okay. All right. It's the post processor here at the blue box. Okay. Um, 
All right, so let me can just go here. When I want to post it. Okay, so the G code here. Okay, let's, let's go to that folder. Okay, let's give it slow now. Uh, it should be here. Cat, there it is. Let's open it up in Wuwa, see how it looks like. And there it is. It's a program. See? Okay. You can you can edit you can edit this here. You see the variables? See what I have L for length, W for width, T for thickness. You can just here just put down L width and L, W, and T. You can do that if you want. Um, okay, that's how I tweak the post processor. I'm I'm trying to figure out how, how I can how I can have a L, W, T when I post uh, any uh, any job from uh, Fusion 360. I got I got to figure that out in um, in a post processor. All right, but that's that's the program here. That's the program there, all right, guys. All right, so uh, all right, that, that's it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can you can drop them down below. Um, please just like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more videos um, using Fusion using Fusion 360 to program a uh, home at Wiki CNC machine. All right, so. Uh, uh, next video, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the, it's gonna be the machining video when I make this. Uh, all right, all right. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on, on the next one. Peace.